concerto is not really a type of music that's very menacing, so you wouldn't think that it, it will work for a boss. Hey music friends, this is David Vasco, a music composer for games, and today we're gonna listen to and talk about another track from Hollow Knight, and this is one that you guys have been asking for a lot, and it's called Mantis Lords by Christopher Larkin, so let's go! Okay, the harpsichord is very prominent. Oh man, it sounds very, very... Oh, this sounds very, very baroque so far. This is awesome. There's a very sophisticated kind of classic Baroque feel to this so far. And I feel like I said that in the past about Hollow Knight music, about it feeling Baroque. But this time is really, really obvious. Uh, to start off, the, the harpsichord, which is, which is a very, very Baroque instrument, it's very prominent here. And again, harpsichord is a very, very characteristic instrument of the Baroque period. And whenever you use the harpsichord, not only the instrument harpsichord, but the actual Baroque-like phrases that he's using here, and I'm going to show you in a minute. Whenever you use that, it feels like something sophisticated uh, in, an, in an old kind of way, something uh, from a sophisticated past from a, a golden kind of past and the the song is called mantis lords i assume they are bosses that you fight so nothing better to give that kind of lordly sensation that lordly kind of vibe to these bosses than music that is old and sophisticated like baroque music of tension here. Oh, and this part. This is this is what I'm talking about when I'm when I'm saying not only baroque instruments that he's he's using, but he's also using actual baroque phrases and, and music that notes that actually sound baroque. This kind of phrase here. This totally sounds like a phrase that they would use in a Baroque concerto. And it's funny because a, a concerto is not really a type of music that's very menacing. So you wouldn't think that it, it would work for a boss. But he's actually doing it here. He's keeping it very intimidating and tense. While uh, at the same time, like I said before, keeping that kind of lordly uh, feel to it. And again, oh. oh man, this is so good. So again, about the kind of concerto sounding part that he repeated over and over here. So he's really trying to get across that kind of sophistication and grace uh, in, in this track. And check out the, the chords that he's using here in this concerto, Baroque concerto-like part. So, he, he keeps going, but the, the sequence of chords that he used here... All of these chords that he used are chords that we call chords of strong function. It means that the role that they play in the song and the emotions that they convey are very clear and direct. They, they are not very nuanced and emotional and intimate chords. They're, they're very direct. And that is something that they love to use in Baroque and classical music. And even like sequences like this are very recognizable, even to people that don't know music theory at all. This sounds like classical music, doesn't it? It has that almost kind of cliche 
classical music feel to it. And also something else that I noticed here, if you notice the rhythm in this concerto part, the, the measure here, check this out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it has that kind of waltz, one, two, three, one, two, three, kind of swaying to it. And again, this adds to, to what I said earlier about this not really feeling very threatening. If I had to guess, I, I'm not seeing the boss right now, but if I had to guess, I would say that the Mantis Lords are uh, a boss or, or are bosses that are not really like that kind of horrifying, terrifying, uh, fear inducing kind of boss. They're more bosses that you're supposed to respect and be amazed by, but also one, two, three, one, two, three. You're kind of supposed to dance with them, right? Man, these low strings on the right speaker make this a little bit more threatening. Oh, beautiful. And these attack notes with the harpsichord, no notice this. Notice how much impact these notes add. It's all these, these little things that he's including here to make this essentially Baroque concerto sound like an actual boss theme. And also something else that I noticed here, and this relates to what I said earlier about this theme not really feeling super threatening and super evil look here how he's using exclusively happy chords in this part here uh, and it sounds very wondrous and amazing as opposed to threatening and evil which is usually the case in in boss themes check this out Majestic, right? Lordly. Oh. Oh. This kind of reminds me of these impactful punchy notes here. They kind of remind me of Sealed Vessel, you know, that kind of stabbing part in Sealed Vessel. Hey, I love talking about and sharing the music from the games that we love with you. It inspires me, it makes me happy, and if you want to keep sharing and talking about video game music, I have more videos like this one over here. I just mentioned the Sealed Vessel track, I have a video on that over here, and over here I'm gonna put a playlist with all the other Hollow Knight videos that I've done. And remember, whenever you're ready to spread your wings and go on a music journey again, I'll see you there.